Hi everybody, this is Miss Kim of Clark County Public Library. Um, welcome to our summer reading program. Uh, well, uh, today we are going to learn how to grow some nutritious treats for your pets. Okay, Miss Amanda and I are going to show you how to do that, take care of things. We've got cat grass, we've got stuff for dogs, uh, stuff for rabbits. Uh, just, and you know, you can use a lot of different things. You can use recyclables to do all this stuff. We're just going to walk you through it. So I hope you enjoy it. And now I'm going to turn it over to Miss Amanda. Hello everybody, my name is Miss Amanda and I'm going to be showing you how to plant some alfalfa for dogs. It's lots of fun and as you can see, it makes a beautiful plant. And here we've planted it in a little dog dish for fun. <laughs> you can use uh, something like this or a plastic container. First I'm going to show you how to plant it in soil. You can use some potting mix, preferably without any added fertilizer. Take a cup and fill up to one inch in your plastic container. Like this. And then you'll take your, your alfalfa seeds and generously sprinkle them over the soil. Your soil should almost be covered with seeds. Sprinkle your, your seeds until it looks something like this. And then cover them lightly with soil. And alfalfa makes a great treat for your dog. It's very nutritious and also can be good for their joints. Now after you've covered your seeds in soil, you'll want to water them. You can use a spray bottle to lightly water the seeds. Make sure they're nice and moist but not too overwatered. And you'll want to water them every day to make sure that it doesn't dry out. You can also plant your alfalfa without any soil in an open container like this. This is a blueberry uh, container. To plant them this way, you'll soak your alfalfa seeds overnight in water and the bad seeds will float to the top. Then you'll sprinkle the seeds in the bottom of the container and water them and then cover it overnight. And after you've covered it overnight, you can take the lid off again in the morning and expose it to the light. And it will germinate very quickly in this container. Like we said, this is a great treat for your dog. It's high in vitamins and good for their digestion and their joints. Just make sure to give this to your dog in moderation. A little bit at a time is great. And remember that we are not vets. This is just a suggestion for a fun treat for your dog. But if you think that it may not be good for them, then you can ask your vet. Hi, I'm back. Hey. You know what else you can grow? You can grow barley grass for rabbits because they love that, okay? And it's kind of fun, it's really neat. Um, for barley grass, this, these are the seeds, okay? They're kind of big, you can see that. You're gonna soak these overnight in your jar, okay? The next day, you're gonna do that, swirl them around. The bad seeds and the, and the dirt will float to the top so you can get rid of all the bad stuff right away. 
Okay? Then you're going to use your recycled produce container. Okay? Put a paper plate under here. Put your seeds down. Spray them. Nice. Okay? Nice and evenly. Then you close that up. Put a towel over it. Cover it for the night. And then the next day, uncover it. Expose it to light. And little by little, they're going to grow. Okay? And it forms a nice mat on the bottom. The seeds will. And your grass will sprout out of that. And then when you have it to a nice size that you like, you think a rabbit's going to like it, just pull the whole thing out, cut it up in servings, put it on a drink, a dish, and serve it to your rabbit. I think they might like it. But that's what I've got about barley seeds. Let's talk about cat rats. Because cats love to eat green stuff, right? So what's good about cat rats is, while well, it's fun, it's, it grows fast. It's kind of exciting. Cats love this. And I do this, I have some of this so my cats don't eat my, um, my plants because if I didn't, he likes to eat my plants all the time. It's good for your digestive system. It's got, of course, minerals and vitamins and all that kind of good stuff. I always say moderation, okay? But don't let your cat eat all of this grass. But it's really, really fun and it's fast. You're going to see, I'm going to show you how you do this. Um, you're just going to put your dirt in here, okay? Only, only up to about an inch below the rim. So, let's go ahead and put some in there. And if you can get the soil that doesn't have the added fertilizer, I think everybody's going to be a little better off. But, as long as it's nice and well draining, I think it'll be okay. Alright, so you got your dirt in here, just like that. You have to take, these are big seeds, these are nice and big seeds, so really all you have to do Pour some in, and the seeds are so big that you can really just kind of push them down, just like that. Okay. And then maybe just for a little added measure, just just sprinkle some dirt on top of it, just enough just to cover it a little bit, and then go ahead and water it. I like to use a spray bottle, that way you, you don't water it, you don't overwater, you don't want your seeds to get wet, too wet. Um, you, you might have to water it twice a day like this, you know. And then, put a piece of plastic wrap over top of that, okay, and it's ready to go. Probably in about a day or two, maybe two or three days, you're going to see grass, okay. That's, that's so much fun. Now when it grows like this and it gets a little crazy, if your cat's just not eating it fast enough, it's easy enough to take care of. All you're going to do is give the grass a haircut with scissors, just like that. A little more manageable. I think the cat might like it a little better if it looks a little nicer. I'm thinking. And that's what we're going to do. Now, there's other things. You can grow um, timothy grass and, and plantains for guinea pigs. You can grow mustard greens for bearded dragons. There's all kinds of stuff. Just just look into it and see what else you can you can um, experiment with. But if you guys get if you guys try this, take some pictures and send them to us with your hands and stuff, and let us know what you think. All right, that's what we got for you today. Stay safe. Bye.